Hey, party peeps, I'm the Manga Man, and welcome to Ask Manga Man, where I answer your questions. Our first question comes from Zodiac Airplane, and it reads, Question, have you read the iShield 21 manga? Well, no, I haven't read the iShield 21 manga, but I have been watching the iShield 21 anime with my brother. Uh, he and I like to watch it from time to time, and we're pretty close to finishing it. I think uh, we have six or four more episodes left to go. And uh, I have to say, for a sports genre anime, it's uh, pretty good. I love the characters. That's what, that's what drew me into it for the most part. Uh, and it is worthy to note that it is the first anime manga, you know, my word that I use in my first review to combine when I'm talking about both anime and manga, so I call it anime manga. So as a recap, every time I use the word anime manga, besides describing the person that I work with High School of the Dead Bridge series for, whenever I use the word anime manga, it means I'm talking about both the anime and the manga of that story that I'm talking about. So, what I'm saying is that it is the first any manga to have American football, as they term it. Yeah, they can't call it football because otherwise they would be talking about soccer. So they call it American football. Yeah, I found that pretty interesting. Uh, I would have to say, I think I would have enjoyed the manga a bit more because I wouldn't have to deal with the filler episodes. Yeah, anybody who hates filler episodes, the best course of action to take is to actually read the manga. Because, you know what? No filler episodes. That's the beauty of that. But no, I haven't read the manga, but I have been watching the anime. The next question comes from Sonic DX Kid, and it reads, Ask Manga Man Cues. 1. What is your favorite genre of manga? Me, Shoujo slash Shoen. It's been several days, and I would have to say I'm not entirely sure what this question is asking. Is it asking me, do I like shoujo manga, or do I like shoujo manga? Well, if that's what the question was intended, then I would have to lean a little bit more towards shoujo manga, but that doesn't mean that I don't read a few shoujo manga either. I read some, like I read the Fruits Basket manga, one of my favorite shoujo mangas. As for genre in general, if you didn't mean just shoujo and shoujo manga, meaning boys manga or girls manga, I would have... That would be a rather difficult question to answer for me, because I would like... An, I like... Uh, Almost any manga that uh, catches my interest. It's a little bit tricky for me to narrow down what exact genre I'm interested in or that I like to read. But how about this? How about if I show you the manga that I've been purchasing recently? The manga that I've uh, looked out for in the Borders and Barnes and Noble shelves. Uh, the first one is uh, Elemental Glade. And I really love this series, and I wish that they would produce more of it, because it's been quite some time since they've released any new volumes of Elemental Gallade. It has, it has common elements of kind of like a traveling adventure. The story kind of centers around two characters, uh, one of them being a girl who's trying to get to a garden called Elemental Gallade, hence the title plug in there. And I like the characters in it, but mostly I love the art style of it. it it's it's kind of it's kind of uh, I would like to say mist. It kind of reminds me of like a mystical. Uh, it just it just has a lot of. It, it's hard to describe. I'm juddering. Hard to describe really, but I like the characters and I like the art style that it has with it. And yes, there are some things in it that, like, you know, the styles can get a little bit grating sometimes, all the cutesy stuff, but it doesn't bother me too bad. And, uh, yeah, I really wish that they would produce more manga out of it. I haven't checked out the anime yet, but I think I'm planning on, like, seeing how that's done. But yeah, I wish that they would produce more manga. Or at least have some more over in the state here, otherwise I'll have to check online. The next manga that I've been buying in bulk is Gintama. And I have to say, if you are a fan of brilliant comedy and good writing, this is the manga for you. 
Yeah, the art style may not be, like, as detailed or whatnot as some other manga artists, but I gotta tell you, where it lacks a little bit in the art style, it all makes up for it in the awesome and hilarious writing that this has. The characters all have the same expression, but they say it with a sort of, like, Monty Python, like, straight face comedy, in a way. And I just love how... It's just very funny, and I appreciate the manga version a little bit more than the anime. There is, but in reality, there is really no difference. You could watch the anime or read the manga. It doesn't make a difference because it's a type of episodic storyline in which each chapter, or only a couple of chapters, only have a short story filling up one chapter or two. It's not like one of my favorite types of story uh developments or or story structures but it works with gintama it's a very fun and enjoyable manga and i recommend it for any of my fans the next manga that i've been buying religiously is fairy tale one of my favorite authors hiro mishima mashima sorry i'm horrible at pronouncing names in case you didn't catch on in my videos but I love his style. He's the same author that did the Rave Masters series. And would they please finish up the manga? I mean, we're like at, what, like uh, manga 22 and we're waiting for 23 and it's been like a number of like six or eight months already? I wish they would finish that. Otherwise, I'd have to read it online. And I prefer getting the hard copy. That's one thing that I like. I like to get the hard copy of mangas. I don't really like to read it online or whatnot because those are mostly fan subbed or translated mangas and they're not bad. Not They're not bad to say the least, but they take some liberties and like putting in some words that uh, maybe a character might not necessarily say or doesn't match up with their character. So I like to buy it in hard copy. That's just my preference. But Fairy Tale is a fun and adventurous, fist pounding adventure manga. And I prefer reading the manga over the anime because I checked out the anime and it seems okay and whatnot. But one of my pet peeves, and it's been for like a number of manga that involve magic, is that the magic circle. Now, magic circles work fine for animes like Full Metal Alchemist because that's how they produce their magic. It makes, it makes sense for that, and I got used to the idea of magic circles or transmutation circles for Full Metal Alchemist. But for, but for stories like Fairy Tale, in the manga, they, never, they rarely, rarely use like magic circles or transmutation circles. And if, if anything like that, uh, but in the, if anything like that, they only use that for like a couple of big monstrous spells. But for the anime, they like in, they like slap on a magic circle around Haru when he's like fire fisting. It's like, no, nah, no, nah, he doesn't need a magic circle. He just produces the fire on his own. It's magically done, but you don't need a magic circle. I just, I just, I don't know. I, I kind of am like, uh, it's gotten boring for me watching magic circle, watching every wizard, witch, and whatnot using magic circles in a multitude of animes and mangas. But I prefer the manga also because, well, I kind of developed an idea of what I thought the characters would sound like, and it didn't really match up with what the anime thought. And also, the anime uses some 3D elements, which I'm not really a fan of mixing 3D and 2D in an anime. Although they don't use it too often, so I'm grateful for that. But the anime isn't that bad, I just prefer the manga more. The next manga that I have been buying, as many as I can... Uh, well, it's a little bit of a guilty pleasure, I know. It's... Kirohime. Yes, yes, anybody who's familiar with the series, Kirohime is notorious for fan service shots, and... I can't help it, man. I'm a guy. What's the say there to say that I can't enjoy a good fan service? But it's the right type of fan service. It's not the fan service that is used for like uh, you know romantic uh, comedies and like oh it's a panty shot. Ooh. Well, it, it, it's more like it's more like it's an adventure. It has a surprisingly good story. I find really uh, with the uh, romantic and you know you don't. Uh, what guy doesn't have a fan service manga or anime? I mean, I would I would be kind of suspicious if they said that they didn't have one. 
I mean, if a guy doesn't have something like this, ugh, I don't know what I would think of them, really. I think they'd be lying. But really, it's really more of a guilty pleasure, I know, yeah. But I just can't help it. They have, they have awesome ideas of, like, witch gunslingers. Now, that's cool. Witch gunslingers. It's, 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 it's like Outlaw Star, only it's an entire series of magical guns. And, like, Wild West stories, deities, and, like, there was some surprising twists and turns in the stories. And I enjoy it. Don't look at me like that. It's a guilty pleasure. I can't help it. So, yeah, those are all the manga that I've been uh, purchasing on a, on, a, on a consistent basis as, as much as I can if I have enough money in my wallet. But uh, I hope that answers that part of the question. The second part of the question asks, what is it about anime slash manga that you like? Examples, the art style, story, etc. For Sonic DX Kid, it's the story and characters. Now, excuse the stuttering, because I'm just doing this improv and whatnot. Ah, uh, that's a good question. What do I like about anime and manga? Well, here's the thing for me. Let me compare it to American comics and cartoons. With American cartoons, or more specifically, I should first point out American comics, I never really got into American comics because there were so many, so many volumes that you had to track down, and so many, so many copies of storylines and then different story arcs of other superheroes and whatnot that you had to track down. In or I'm a type of guy that likes to start a story from the beginning. I don't like doing the whole starting from the middle of a story and then having to backtrack all the way back to find the first volume of the first book to understand the rest of the story. And plus, to me, let me you you got the com you got the paperback comics that are like little flippy wimpy wimpy things, and then you got the manga that have like, ooh, look at this, this is some thick ass shit there, yeah, ooh, look at that, ooh, ooh, and then there are other ones that are like, ooh, look at this, ooh, even thicker ass shit, yeah, now that's the shit, yeah. But I know that there are there. That doesn't mean that I don't like American comics. There are several comics that I enjoyed reading, like uh, the Bone series, uh, Blankets, and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I enjoyed reading those. And but what drew me to manga specifically, not only because of like ooh thick ass shit, but also. I like the stories a lot better. Like, the American ones with, like, the superheroes and whatnot, that's fine. I can enjoy that, but it's not really something that I get overhyped about, like, with Linkara and whatnot. That's fine for him, but for me, I enjoy the stories that are a little bit more adventurous, you know? Kind of like traveling to new lands, seeing new people, interacting with new species of animals and whatnot. I love those type of stories. I love adventure stories. Those are my favorite, personally. And for manga, there was a lot more of those type of stories than there were, well, what I found, for American comics. 